Today the sun shines brightly and birds are singing outside the window. Spring came. It is very warm outside and I want to walk in the fresh air from morning until late at night. I'm also going to take a walk out of town. Are you with me guys? Oh, what's this? What happened? An accident? Oh, it's a serious accident I see. Smoke is coming. It is clear there was a strong blow. The cars must have recently collided because the fire truck has still not extinguished the fire. The cars collided at the crossroad. Apparently, one of them exceeded the speed or ran through the red light. The green car I see has the most damage. It even turned over and no headlights. The yellow and red cars have fire under the hoods. Here is a police car. The location of the accident is shielded with road signs so other cars can avoid it. The fire truck hose is hooked up to the street fire hydrant that supplies the water. Water under strong pressure is pouring on the burning cars. Wow, even the ambulance rushed. There are victims probably. Now they will be taken to the hospital. Here you look at such a serious accident and think, how can this happen? Drivers need to be very careful when they start driving, especially in places like the crossroads. Okay, I'll go further. My help is not needed. The fireman can now extinguish the burning cars and the police will deal with the guilty in this accident. Yeah, in a long time I have not seen such an accident. Today, just three cars collided, and with such force that it even lit up, just like in a movie, and fire right there, and the police, and even the ambulance. The traffic at the crossroads will be blocked for half a day, until the tow trucks come to pick up the battered car. Oh, what's that sound? A police siren? What's this? Are they coming from the accident? Strange. Stop! The police car right behind me has his lights going. And why? What is the problem? I didn't break any rules. Okay, we'll stop right now to find out everything. Yes, I'll stop. I'll stop. Just relax. I could not disrupt anything serious. I only pulled away from the crossroad where the accident happened. No one is clipped, and even more, nobody was hit by a car. But the police stopped me. There must be a reason for that. Now he will explain how the traffic rules were violated. Dear driver Handy Andy, you should be more careful when you're driving. I do not know what distracted your attention, but within a few minutes, you broke two rules on the road. First, you drove through a red light, and this is a serious violation for which the penalty is assumed. Second, the sign at the last crossroad showed that it is necessary to turn right, and you went straight. Such violations on the road can provoke serious accidents. Now, I'll write you a receipt for payment of the fine, and I ask you, watch out for road signs when you're driving. Hello, police officer. Forgive me for such gross errors on the road. Seeing an accident at a crossroad, I was distracted from driving and did not see the red light. Of course, I'll pay the fine, and I promise you, I will be a much more attentive and careful driver. You see guys, how important it is to comply with the traffic rules? You should always follow the road sign. Today is a special day for Handy Andy, and he is very excited. He worked hard for several days in the garage, preparing for this event. However, he is going to tell you about everything himself. Hi guys, I have a very important day, and I want to share with you my excitement. Okay, see? I have a real racing car. Yes, yes, I have been looking for its parts and putting everything together in the car because I wanted to participate in the races. Therefore, it is ready. Hooray! Today, we're going to auto racing. There will be many of the same race cars like mine. Before we go to the racetrack, I'll tell you a little about my car. So, it is an R-E-A-L racing car which develops such great speed in such a short time. 
It has a single seat only for the driver, who is called a pilot. It has a special spoiler at the back and front of the car to make it go faster. There are many buttons, levers, and displays on the steering wheel. In fact, only one steering wheel controls the whole car. As you can see in the racing car, the wheels are separate from the body, and the body is open without a roof. This car is made of light metal, but it has a very powerful engine. Well, my friends, let's go to the racetrack, and we will take part in this car race. I called the tow truck, so he brought my racing car to the race, because this car is forbidden to drive around town. Hooray! And here's the tow truck. Well then, let's start my friends, and wish us luck! And here is our racetrack guys, we are here! The race will begin soon, first we have to put on a special helmet, then I start my car and check it, everything should be okay. So. Let's get started. Start the car. Go to the start. Look how many racing cars will participate in the races. Wow! We start the engine. Check the steering wheel as the wheels are turning. Right, left. And let's go! We are ahead. Careful. We must be very careful not to get into an accident, because we're going at high speed. Right turn. There. So, to overtake. Overtake. There. Another car was left behind. Super. Only forward, my friends. Now we go straight. Again to overtake. Quietly. Another circle. Oh, well, we're almost there. Just a couple of cars needed to be overtaken. Wow, we are so fast. The wheels already squeal. It's okay for my racing car. It is very strong. Careful, yellow car. Do not go under the wheels. We are going to be the first. A little more and finish. Friends, we win with you! We're first! Hooray! Here is the finish! Well done! Our race is over and we won! It is said that beginners are lucky. I am very happy to win. I'll take the prize home, which will remind me of a great race. I hope you liked participating in the race with me. Now we can relax a little. Hello friends, today I am driving a blue pickup truck to the city. No, do not worry, my favorite car is not broken. I just need a car with a large trunk. I've been repairing my friend's car for several days in the garage. It got into a serious car accident and needs a comprehensive renovation. So I had to go to the big warehouse where I can find all the necessary details. Here I have entered the city, and in a few minutes, we will be there. Here is the warehouse. It is really great guys. Look how many boxes are near the entrance. I hope I find everything I need to repair the car. Let's go inside. Wow! It really is amazing to see how many things are here. 
All of the shelves are simply overwhelmed with the items for different cars. So, what do I need? A front seat for the driver. There! A front side door. That's it! A brake disc. Good! A spark plug for the engine. Three pieces. Steering wheel. That's it! A radiator for engine cooling? And battery. Super! Large front headlamp bulb for the lamps. Shock absorber for the front wheels. Exhaust pipe. Disc for the wheel. Tire. And engine oil. All parts I need go onto a conveyor that revolves. The parts go on it and unload in a big box. Yes, so many details. I hope one box is enough. Well, box full. Close the lid on top of it. But now there's a new problem. It's so heavy that it is impossible to lift. What do we do? And there is no one to call for help. I will not be able to load it myself onto the back of a pickup. Oh, I have an idea. There must be a forklift. Exactly. It can help me. And here it is. Guys, do you know what a forklift is and how it works? Now I'll tell you a little about this machine. So a forklift is a kind of transport which is commonly used in warehouses. It is necessary for the loading and unloading of various cargo, as well as for its transport and storage. The forklift has a big metal fork on which the goods are carried. It uses electricity and does not need fuel. Look! The loader raises and lowers its fork. Now dropped, it pulls closer to the box. Forks are grabbing the bottom of the box, raising it and loading to the trunk of my pickup. Oh, it's such a heavy load. The car even slipped under the weight. Hooray! It is done. Now the road home will be long. It's necessary to go slow because of the large box in the trunk. Thank you, forklift. You helped me out. Well, my friends, we have learned a lot of interesting things. We visited the warehouse for spare parts, saw the conveyor, and learned all about the forklift. I hope you liked it. I am going to the garage. I have a lot of work. See you soon, my friends. Bye-bye. Hello, my friends. How are you? Today I have to travel to another city. Will you come with me? I have an important task. It is necessary to bring the excavator on the construction site. It is not so far, but today I am driving the truck, and with such a heavy load, the road will be long. So, here is a lorry which is hitched with a platform. We will transport the excavator on it. Now the part of the platform is going down, so this big machine can go on top. Well, the excavator is here. We can start the journey. Let's go! We are going to go around the city very slow. For these trucks like ours, speed is limited, especially when they move around the city or other locations. We must remember that the city has narrow roads. Typically, they consist of only two lanes, 
On one lane, vehicles move straight. On the other, vehicles move towards the other lane. Also, there are many pedestrian crossings in the city. Before each, you need to stop and let the pedestrians pass, so high speed does not particularly work. That's what I said, the crosswalk. Look, the traffic light is red. You see, there is a road sign in the form of a blue square, and in the center of it, the man who walks. It is a sign for a pedestrian crossing, and here is a sign in the form of a triangle. It says to the driver that it is necessary to give way. And here is the traffic light for cars turned green. Go! We passed a crossroads with you, and so a narrow urban road began. Look, there are only two lanes. On one side there is a sidewalk for pedestrians, and on the other, a place for parking. Oh, the ambulance rushed. It is allowed. Emergency lights are turned on. Do you hear a signal? It is in a hurry to help someone, so we are obliged to give it the road. Well, we are leaving the city. Now we can add speed and go faster. Now the road is expanded, you see. On each side, there are three lanes. This is a special road, which connects the two cities. This road is called the highway. Now we can increase the speed. Oh, look, this is an overpass. We are going to pass under it. An overpass looks like a bridge. The only difference is that the bridge is built over the water, and the overpass is over the road, so vehicles could move in the right direction and not create traffic jams. There is a traffic police post on the left side, the blue building. The police keep order on the road so that drivers do not violate traffic rules. Typically, these police posts are located before an entrance into the city, and they watch the drivers go on the allowed speed. Okay, we entered the city. Look here, it's still a wide road, and there are not many cars so we can go in with no problems or congestion. This city is new, so the road is wider than in our city. There are four lanes into the city, and on top, we can see signs with arrows that show the movement forward, and those who have to turn to the right should use the first lane. A road sign explains it all. I was told that the construction site we need is at the beginning of the city. There should be a large factory building on the right side, and after that, we need to turn right. I think we will be there soon. Again, we are passing under the overpass. In big cities, they are built very often to relieve the heavy traffic. So, there is a pedestrian crossing and the traffic light is red. We stop. Please note, my friends, the top sign is in the form of a yellow rhombus or a diamond, and that means it's a main road. So, here the yellow light came on. Now green. Let's go. Turn on the right turn. See the green arrow blink on the control panel. Turn. Somewhere not far from here should be the construction site where we are taking an excavator. There is a plant on the right side. And that's right, there is an entrance to the construction site. Now the gate will be open. Finally, we got to the right place. To be honest, I'm a bit tired. Wow, all the work is stopped here, waiting for our excavator. Well, my dear friends, how did you like our journey today? It was interesting to go from one city to another. We have seen so many new road signs. We learned what the highway is and to find the difference between the overpass and the bridge. Well, we did a good job. We brought the excavator to the construction site. I drove a truck. It was fun. See you soon. Beep, beep.
it is pouring rain all day. Because of such weather, Handy Andy is sitting in his garage and making something. Let's visit him and see what he is doing. Hello! It's been raining since this morning, and I'm not sure when it will stop. So I decided not to go anywhere and stay at home and finally clean in the garage. I have accumulated so many different parts of the different transport that there is not enough places for everything. So I selected the working parts and slowly put them in a box. You want to see what I've got now? Looking at all these details, I have a feeling that I can assemble something with the wheels and in working condition. Let's try, guys. I hope you can help me. See, the first thing I got, it's a frame. It reminds me of something, but what? Hmm, okay, uh, let's continue. Oh, and this is the wheel. It's even without cracks. We attach it to the frame in front. And here is one more, again without cracks. It will be the rear wheel. Wow, this is the brake disc. Put it on the rear wheel. And one more, it is for the front. Wow, wow, wow! I have a fender for the rear wheel. It's brand new. It protects the driver from mud and stones that are emitted from the wheels. And what is that black thing? Do you know? Oh, it's a seat. Look, this is a fuel tank, a brilliant one. And even the shock absorber for the rear wheel. It's fantastic! Guys, do you understand what this is going to be? No? Let's go on. You will guess right now. Super! Here is a fender for the front wheel. This is very good. The driver needs such protection, especially for fast driving. And what is this triangle? It's a big front headlamp. It is very necessary when you go in the evening or at night and you cannot see anything on the road. The headlamp is very bright and lights the way very well when driving. So? Well, it's the most important thing perhaps, the engine. And not just any, but a very powerful one, just for such transport. In the box, there were even two exhaust pipes. We cannot go without them. And a radiator for cooling. It turns out that in my garage, there are so many good things lying around. The main thing is to find the application for them. And that's what it turns out. So, in the box there is still something big. Wow! So it's a steering wheel! Just look, it has a speedometer which shows the speed and a sensor that indicates the fuel level. See the white lever and the button? To honk. But the black lever? To brake. Yeah, the wheel. Just a dream. And there was a rear view mirror. Lucky me. All right, the box is empty. We've used all the details. Look what we've got. You guessed my friends? Yes, this is a motorbike. Not just a beautiful motorcycle, but a real Harley Davidson. The rear wheel is wide, probably twice as wide as front. And it's brilliant and bright. I always dreamed of such a motorbike. Today, I will leave it in the garage. The weather is still not quite suitable to drive a motorcycle, but tomorrow, I hope, will be a sunny day, and I will start this powerful motor Harley-Davidson and go. In the meantime, I want to relax a bit. I was cleaning the whole day in the garage. Thank you for helping me to assemble this beautiful bike. Without you, I would not have coped. It was very interesting to me, and you. Hopefully, you liked. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye.